so hello everyone this semester we have this basic paper of rock mechanics rock mechanics is one of the foundational subjects for our mining engineering this is because all our excavations that we do for minerals is on rock bodies only unlike civil engineers who have control over or a basically a choice over the material they use for their construction in case of mines we have to make our structures within rock masses in case of underground mines <clears throat> we excavate opening uh, opening in the underground strata to to reach our minerals and in case of surface mines we dig somewhat conical shaped holes in the surface to reach our ore bodies so as a mining engineer there are there are broadly two uh, two things for which we you, uh, we shall be using our knowledge of rock mechanics first is related to the stability of the structures that we are making and secondly to understand the rock fragmentation or our rock tool interface uh, just like understanding how we can break our rocks more efficiently uh, just uh, just uh, imagine a bit when a bit hits a uh, when a bit hits a rock for rock rock face that's how it creates stress stress and because of this stress our rock actually starts to fragment this is the another aspect of rock mechanics we will be do dealing with throughout our curriculum so rock mechanics that we mining engineers will, will are concerned to have basically two aspects one is you can say rock mechanics and other one is rock engineering that is basically applied applied rock mechanics so in this semester we will cover the very basics and in the in the next semester we will have another paper of advanced rock mechanics or the applied rock rock mechanics there we, we, we will cover the rest of the topics for this semester, first we will go through concept of stress strain and other uh, other other topics that we generally cover in solid mechanics and how do we represent represent stress and how do we computation and all. This is going to be the biggest module, and after completing that, we will just uh, study about the psychophysical properties of rock and rock and basically soil because in course of your study. You will understand that rock is one thing intact rock is one thing and rock mass that we will we will be discussing in in, uh, in in our coming classes is is somewhat a different thing so before understanding rock mass we will understand what is what are the basic properties of rock and soil so there we shall discuss about that weathering properties of rock how how the soil behaves and the uh, concepts like permeability, porosity, bulk modulus, and, and everything. After completing these uh, two modules, we, we will likely have some class test and all. And thereafter, we will start uh, discussing the concepts of rock mass. Uh, there we will understand that rock mass is basically the whole body of rock that consists folds, joints, and cleavages and everything. And yeah, the water is an important factor of the overall rock strength. All these concepts we will just discuss in this third module. Thereafter, we will discuss the failure criteria of rock. Means uh, at what condition actually our rock fragmentation starts. And after that, we will discuss the what is in situ stress and how do you, in situ means that the virgin stress, you, you can call it. Uh, what are the in situ stress and all, and uh, how do we measure it? Means so we will touch upon basic things about instrumentation. Uh, and in the next subject uh, after this, that will be, that you will get in the uh, get get next semester. There we will actually discuss more uh, more relevant topics, which are based on these understandings. Uh, now the scope of rock mechanics is not only limited to mining engineers, my mining engineering. 
along with mining and petroleum engineering this is a foundational core subject for civil and ge geology geophysics people as well and uh, these departments are not limited to these there are multiple disciplines that actively uses rock mechanics uh, as their core uh, foundational subjects so many of you may be after completing your mining degree may go higher study in these departments using your knowledge that you acquire during your courses on rock mechanics so in mining engineering we just discussed why we need rock mechanics in case of petroleum engineering that boreholes we create at what stress stress at what depth they may rupture that kind of understanding we can we can get or that kind of estimation we can make with our understanding of rock mechanics in case of civil engineering the tunneling civil uh, in is that is done in civil engineering the foundations that make and the slopes are made and the ridges the stability of ridges and if we just put uh, uh, put uh, stones to make these ridges stable then uh, then what will be the slake durability of those ridges these kind of co concepts are very much important in civil constructions as well so with this rock rock, me rock mechanics understanding the many of the civil engineering related problems are handled in case of geoscience the earthquake that we know that is actually because of fractures that are occurring underneath the surface and the way propagation of fra fracture is that's what we see in case of uh, uh, in case of earthquakes so uh, earthquakes is a actually very big thing that that is happening in the tectonic level uh, in case of mining we will also see that we are very much concerned about the se seismic waves because of other than that uh, great tectonic things even a small joint or the small small uh, fold that is crushing within its side uh, within itself that that will also create small that p wave and s wave p wave and s wave are basically one is a transitional wave and another is a transverse wave the, that will percolate through your rock medium and that may come to your mining structure or slope and that may disturb your slope the, to understand the behavior of this propagation you must have some understanding of the rock material here so the work that geo geoscience people do for studying seismic activities and earthquakes there is also extensively the understanding of rock mechanics is used so uh, finally uh, after this introduction we in our next lecture we shall start start with our concept of stress and strain so thank you everyone for listening